Hello everyone, welcome to ECE 107. This evening we're going to go over the eFolio, which is the final project in our course. Uh, now that we're in week two and catching up speed, I thought that you would be ready to know a little more about the final project so that you can begin working on it. The purpose of the eFolio is to demonstrate what you have learned during the course, and this could be used in the future during perhaps a job interview to prove your experience with some ECE management principles. So you can use Word, PowerPoint, Google Docs, Google Slides to put this together. Um, you might put each item, or we could call them artifacts, on a page of its own. So if we begin with number one, you, you will need an ECE program mission statement. If you'll do a search on the internet for early childhood center mission statement, you'll find many examples. Read through these examples uh, and find one that you feel would match your ECE philosophy of what you would want in a mission statement of your own center. So take some time, read a few different ones, and then develop one of your very own. It should be about a paragraph long and describe the main focus of the center or school. Next, you'll have the ECE program breakfast, snack, lunch menu. This will be for one month, and I'm going to show you some examples here in a little bit. You um, could find a template online for this. You're welcome to build your own using Word. Um, there's uh, many different lunch templates out there that will definitely fit your need. Uh, number three, your ECE program incident or accident report. This is very valuable at ECE Center in case something is to happen. So again, do a search on the internet for accident reports for an ECE Center. You might also look on Pinterest, a great resource for these. You'll also need number four, 10 interview questions for an infant teacher, a preschool teacher, a school age teacher, an assistant director for an ECE program. So I want you to put yourself in the place of running a center and you're having to come up with interview questions to ask them. So let's pretend like you're interviewing an infant teacher for your center and you're coming up with 10 questions to ask them and they should be specific for each of these job titles. And again, you can find many examples on the internet um, of these questions. So choose your favorite 10. Also, you're gonna come up with a new employee orientation checklist. This might be something that you give to a new employee. You need to have at least 20 items on it. So make a list of 20 things that the new employee would need to learn about your daycare or preschool center that would help them get settled in, learn a little bit more, um, and start to feel comfortable. So 20 items. I'm going to show you an example. Um, number nine is a job description for an infant and toddler teacher. You're also going to add um, in number 10, a job description for a preschool teacher. In number 11, a job description for a school age teacher. These can be found on the internet. Simply search the term job description for toddler teacher, and you're gonna find many of them on there. Um, you might even look on indeed.com. It's a job search engine to find some as well. Okay, part two of your eFolio. If we start with number 12, you're going to find a layout of a classroom floor plan. So choose one classroom, whether it be infant, toddler, preschool, or school age. Um, you can find lots of examples of these layouts on the internet. If you, if you type in a uh, toddler classroom floor plan in Google and then you click on images, you'll see many different examples. So you find an example of a classroom that you would want in your center. Um, some of these have symbols for the furniture already in the layouts, and that's fine. You can definitely use those. And you'll just copy and paste it into 
um, either your Word document, your Google Docs, um, your slides, or your PowerPoint document. You'll also need a list of items needed to supply your chosen floor plan or classroom. You could use catalogs, you could use the internet, um, list everything that you would have in the classroom and the price. Um, find a good school supply website, and this should actually go pretty quickly. You'll need furniture, the cubbies you might add, large toys. You don't have to get down to little bitty toys, that's fine. Um, books that you might add, rugs, etc. So there are uh, lots of different things and creative things that you could come up with for this classroom. And number 14, you're going to find the layout for a playground. So again, pretend like this is your ECE center and you get to lay out the playground. So the same as you did on number 12, do a search on the internet uh, and search for playground layouts or playground floor plans and you'll find lots of different ones out there. On number 15, list the items needed to supply that playground using the catalogs or using internet again. So for example, you might have a large um, play set that you're wanting to add to the playground or maybe um, some bicycles you'd want to have on the playground. Look these up, get the price of them, put them on the list and tell me um, what all you would have on your playground. So we have it split into two different sections, basically, for the Eufolio, but a total of 15 different items. And if you want to, the easiest way is put each item on a slide of its own or on a page of its own. Here's a few examples for you to see. Here's an example of a mission statement. Treehouse Academy seeks to create a challenging learning environment that encourages high expectations for success through development, appropriate instruction that allows for individual differences and in learning styles. So that's one big long sentence, but that is a mission statement. Our school also promotes a safe, orderly, caring, and supportive environment. Each student's self-esteem is fostered by positive relationships with students and staff. We strive to have our parent, teachers, and community members actively involved on our students' learning. So you can tell from that that um, it really gives an overview of what the program would be like. It's almost a snapshot of what this EC Center might be like. Um, here's an example of a menu. You need to have breakfast, lunch, and snack for one whole month. Here we go. Week one, two, three, and four. So week one on Monday for breakfast, we're having Cheerios and milk. For lunch, macaroni and cheese, tuna, cucumber, sliced apple, and milk. And for an afternoon snack, cheese, crackers, and milk. And what you'll notice is in this menu, there's a nice variety. Um, they've used different items, different vegetables, different meats. And so we don't want the kids, kids to get tired of our menu. Um, you want them to enjoy the menu and enjoy the food. So one, one month worth of a menu for your ECE Center. Next we have the Boo Boo Report. So this is an accident or incident report. Boo Boo Report is one that I found on the internet that I really like. It has the name of the child, the date of the injury, the time of the injury, location, and type of injury. How was the injury, how did the injury occur? How was it treated? Um, if the parents or caregivers were notified and if any follow-up care is suggested. So you can see that this would give the parents a good overview of what happened because we want to know about those little bumps and bruises and if it's something a little more severe we definitely need lots of details. Next we have an example of a Child Development Center new employee orientation checklist. So this uh, has several different items, things that a new employee would need to know that sometimes they aren't told in the beginning. Hours of operation, their employee position and job description, the role of the director, the employee's daily and weekly schedule, the employee entering and exiting policy, pay periods, how to fill out timesheets, 
name tags and smocks if they're required, leave policies, staff scheduling and phone usage, visitor policies, constructive problem solving, and basic daily schedules. Now these are just a few items that you might add to your new employee checklist or you might have some different ones of your own that you want to add as well. So this is, like I said, just an example. All right, now we have the classroom layout floor plan example. And I really love this. This is actually for two classrooms. They're both infant classrooms. And you can tell um, from the setup, we've got nice windows along this one wall. Um, we have rocking chairs, an enclosed play area. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cribs in this room. We have a diaper changing area. We have an eating area, cubbies, and possibly a refrigerator over here. And these are really neat setups. I like this infant layout. Here's an example of a playground layout. These are all going to be so different, but this gives you an idea of where the trees would be. You see the circles? Those are to indicate trees on the playground. We've got a nice track that goes around that would be great for riding. We've got solid material. We have some type of a climbing set here with slides, um, some type of maybe monkey bars or climbing apparatus, and some swings over here. So you include the things that you would want on your playground in your ECE center. And that is basically the end. Those were a few examples and a, several of the details that you'll want in your eFolio. I do suggest to try to build this a little bit at a time, week by week. This is one of the largest projects you will do in the ECE program. It does take a while to put together. Use the internet as a resource. Use Pinterest as a resource because we know Pinterest is amazing. Um, place items in the order listed in section one and section two and please do contact me if you have any questions phone call email facebook whatever it takes um, i don't want you to feel unsure about how to put this together and the things that you need to have in it okay so thank you everyone have a good uh, rest of your day or night and i'll see you next week